We have here a razor light box and a set of lenses and prisms. The razor light box consists of a baseboard and mounted on that baseboard is this small unit which contains three laser diode modules. The power to the unit is here and it comes from a 9 volt DC plug top power supply and there is also a small switch which, when, which can switch between one beam and three beams. What we're going to do is to dim the studio lights and show you some of the lenses and prisms working with our laser right box. The studio lights have been dimmed and we're now working in subdued daylight. First, we'll show a fat convex lens and a thin convex lens. And you can see the difference in the focal length. Next, we'll show a fat and a thin concave lens. And again, you can see the difference in the divergence of the beams. We have prism. It shows total internal reflection. And we have a semicircular block and also a circular block. Let's switch to one beam. We have a rectangular block and with that we can do Snell's Law. The lens set also contains one or two reflectors and it's possible to take this parabolic reflector and you can see clearly again that we're getting a focus. If I turn the reflector around we can see that the, the beams are diverging. And if I switch to one beam and take our plane mirror, we can show that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are equal. There's also another mirror like this one and you could make a model of a periscope. I'm going to take a diffraction grating and with this set to one beam it's possible to calculate the wavelength of this monochromatic laser light. The slide here has 100, 300 and 600 lines per millimetre for the diffraction grating. And if I take a card and put it at the end we will be able to see the fringe separation. We will put piece of white card here and you can see clearly the fringe separation. If I slide that along till we get to 300 lines per millimetre you can see that the fringes are now further apart and I think if we go to 600 it will be so far apart it's off the card. Oh just on the card. Okay so we can measure our wavelength of laser light.